In this video you will see the main districts of Sharm el Sheikh. When booking a hotel for your holiday, it's really important to find a hotel that is in the right location for you. Now we are starting in one of the best neighborhood in Sharm el Sheikh. This is Hadaba. I start from here because look at the colors. Hadaba is located in the southeast part of Sharm el Sheikh in a prime position. Here you can find amazing beaches, coral reefs. So if the sea is an important factor for you, coming here will not disappoint you. Now I'm in Hadaba residential area. What you see on my back are the villas where a lot of divers live. And uh, right here, there is a small uh, shopping center. So right next to the hotel at a walking distance, you can find a lot of uh, shops, supermarkets, pharmacies, in Adaba you also have fantastic cafes over the cliffs and restaurants. There is plenty of great hotel and resorts in Adaba. And now I'm gonna tell you my three favorites. The first one is the Reef Oasis. This is one of the best hotel in whole Sharm and in Egypt, in my opinion. My second favorite hotel is the Albatross Aqua Park Sharm El Sheikh. A great place for families. There is a lot of water slides. The only minus is not facing the sea. And for those of you who are on a budget, the Sinai Gates Backpacker, it's a bed and breakfast actually. It's not a hotel, but it's cheap. The rooms are clean, the service is polite. Now we will leave Hadaba. We will travel up north along the coastline and our next stop will be Nama Bay. After that we will reach El Basha Bay and the Sharks Bay areas. Continuing north we will get to Montaza and finally to Napka area, which is the last border of Sharm in the north. So if you can visualize in your mind uh, Sharm, it's pretty easy. It's a series of districts from south to north connected by a road called El Salam Road. Now we are in Nama Bay, probably the most famous uh, district in Sharm el Sheikh. Here at night the streets are packed with tourists who come to visit uh, the souvenir bazaars, the cafe, the restaurants, the discotheques. If you love the nightlife, if you like crowded areas, this is the perfect place for you. While this place is great for entertainment, I can't say the same about its beaches, the corals, the sea is not as clean as in other areas. And and um, most of the hotel, they feel uh, neglected. This is why if you wanna book a hotel in Nama Bay, you really have to be selective. And now I will show you my three favorites in the area. In the third place, I put the Royal Holiday Resort. This is a nice hotel with good room and uh, wild room service. If you find a good deal here, Go on and book it. In second place, I put the Moven Peak Resort Sharm El Sheikh. It's fantastic for couples who want some privacy. The number one spot for the my favorite hotel in Nama Bay belongs to Novo Hotel. It has been recently refurnished. The service is professional. The location is good. And this is the hotel I will stay if I have to come in Nama Bay. So what you see on my back is El Salam Road, the main road parallel to Nama Bay. This is the moving peak that I've shown you before. And now if we continue on this Salam Road in this way, we will get to El Basha Bay and the Sharks Bay, which is the next areas we're gonna discover now. So guys, in these areas you can find amazing hotels. The coral reefs is stunning, the sea is beautiful. This is the perfect location for those who want to enjoy the beach, the sun and the sea far from crowded areas. And if you want to go to a club or to a restaurant, you can take a taxi and have a 10 minutes ride. An exception to this is the Savoy Hotel, because all around it there is the Soho Square, a commercial area with bowling, sushi restaurants, discotheques, bars, shops. It's like a little village around the hotel. If you want to know more about Soho Square, please go check the video I made about it in the channel. In second place, I put the Four Seasons Sharm El Sheikh. This hotel has got the wow factor and uh, it's lavish, luxurious, perfect for couples looking for a romantic getaway. In third place, I put the Grand Rodana. The value that this hotel offers is uh, incredible. 
Look at the view over the sea, the rooms are nice, and the price is one of the most competitive in Sharm. Between Sharks Bay and Napka there is Montaza. Here you will find an amazing view over the sea, great panoramas. It's really, really quiet, so take that into consideration. Let's go back on the map for a second uh, to let you understand where we are. This is the Soho Square you see here and the Sharks Bay, and this is Montaz. Those of you who like to spend their holiday in an apartment, in a flat, will find Montaza particularly interesting. Here you have on the seaside a series of villas, of a flat that are facing directly the sea. So check on Airbnb and if you want to stay in a flat, this is a fantastic location for you. We now have arrived in Napka. Here there is a vast beaches with the shallow water. So if you don't like deep waters, you wanna relax by the beach, maybe you are with kids and you want them to play in shallow water, this is a perfect location for you. Here the hotels are gorgeous, marvelous. You have some of the best hotels in Sharm el Sheikh. The customer service and the staff here is very, very professional. All around you've got many shops, restaurants and discos. The only downside to this area is that if you want to get to the Nama Bay or more central areas of Sharm el Sheikh, it's going to take a 20 minutes drive. The best hotel in Napka, and somebody may argue the best hotel in Sharm el Sheikh, is the Rixus Premium Seagate. The services here, the rooms, they are unrivaled in Sharm el Sheikh. This is the top. And the second spot as well takes it the other Rixus that is like two kilometers from here. Rixus Sharm el Sheikh. Their services, the rooms, is another level. The third best hotel for me in Napka is the Steigenberger Alcazar. It's got uh, exquisite rooms, the service is delightful, and it has water slides as well. So if you're with kids, they can play over there. Perfect for families. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. It's a great way to support me. If I forgot anything, please write it down in the comments and I wanna say you bye with this amazing sunset of Sharm el Sheikh. See you on the next video.